take a look at this video just watch what this guy is going to do with what is in his hand this thing you are seeing like this is not a pen it's not a bible what he's going to do with this thing will shock you just watch and see and for those of you who live in a, in a house where there is a gate or you live in an estate or you live in a street that has gates that you normally check people who come in or visitors who come into the places and all, all of that please make sure your gate man your security they get to see this because what is happening now is no longer in fact i used to see this video before a very, for some two years three years now from foreign people you know their hand they they white but they see them they test them but if you watch this hand closely you know that this is this hand belongs to somebody who is black now that means this thing now is around this is one of the most sophisticated material ever made and it's not even expensive so for you to know that it is now uh, a thing of you your eyes your consciousness and your carefulness and your security person being aware of what is going on because just watch this is exactly what is on ground now now a lot of people let me tell you now why this thing is very very uh, in fact i don't want to use the word dangerous because looking at this it is more than that do you know that a lot of our police officers today can cannot might not be able to identify this thing to what it is do you know that they, they, if they see this they might not be able to identify it a lot of our police officers today currently in this country not to talk of your regular gate man just imagine somebody who is coming to the house to buy somebody he just come normal dress i want to see your guy dress normal carry this color for pocket for you go see, now you go even wait come i mean because obviously he's not carrying anything other than just the pen on his shirt nothing more he go enter do it the one to come out this is exactly why you need to educate your gate men your security your police officers with this kind of thing because what is happening now is no longer about people even move around with the short ones where police inspect us the whole not to talk of this this is just more like a pen and every random normal person like me we call it a pen as you i in fact i if, if, if you see them putting it on their pocket or you would think it's a normal biro is nothing but just look at it and it looks so fine now the worst part of this thing is that eh, it is very affordable on amazon this thing says about I think when i checked last it was saying about 1005 to 2000 depending on the supplier but go and check it on aliexpress and see how much it is. you will know that the security everybody's security now currently is in the hand of god because this thing is so affordable and just imagine somebody imports ten thousand of this and share it to people and we even have the ones that they are doing now that does not even make a sound this one is very loud the ones they are doing after this generation does not make sound so they will just somebody can come into the house do whatever i want to do it can even if you even clear everybody for family generally come out nobody will know say what you gonna do you go going away you go go nothing will happen no they take care for very very good on thursday in the afternoon i stepped out to do to check something in my car it was quite unstable so i told my wife that please let me check something in the car so i drove out so i drove around town I got somewhere, then I decided to return back home. On returning back home, someone flagged me down to just help him to get forward. So I looked at him, he was well dressed, I said, okay, let me just help him. On opening the door, he got in, when he locked the car, he saw that it was quite a nice car, and um, the inside is tinted, he put the car off immediately. On putting the car off, I said, ah, what did they occur? Ah. You asked for help to reach downwards and I'm helping you. He said I should just calm down and respect him. I said, all right, no problem. So I was calm. I relaxed. I had not known what was happening. And in a matter of minutes, about three other guys had opened the door and entered the car. So when they entered the car, I looked at them. I said, what, what is this? I turned and I saw the very fierce, angry looking face. So the other one told them that they should drop me and um, I should come out from the driver's seat. So someone else went to drive and they led me to the back seat. 
I sat on the back seat and they drove off. I had not understood what was happening. It was while they were driving off and I began to get their language. I said, ah, now then be this will walk us of iniquity. <laughs> so they drove, they drove, they were going. It was when they started driving my car in a very rough way. Panic attack struck. My heartbeat had already gone, I think, in 150. It was beating hard and I was afraid I won't lie. But in that state of fear, I knew settled in me that I won't leave this, I won't leave this city. No matter what will happen, I won't get out of this city. So as my heart was still panicking, I told myself to calm down. I told myself to calm down. They kept discussing how, what they were going to do, the plans of the car and all that. I was still going. In that motion, and they were speaking their language in a very, very, with very high intonation that you cannot suspect what God did. Here comes the wisdom of the Lord. He spoke to me and said, someone here speaks my language. So I spoke my language out loudly. I said, where are you taking me to? Then the person in front turned and looked at me. He looked at me so downcasted, like, ah. He asked me, do you speak this language? Do you learn this language or this is your language? I said, it's my language. I, I brought out my edical to prove to him, my middle name, that this is my language. It's me. So he looked and said, ah, Kai, Kai. He can't take my brother to where I'm going to. See the wisdom of God at work? So he said he can't take his brother to where they are going to. Then the other guys behind, they got angry and they got furious. Stop that thing, stop that thing. And he told them to keep quiet. I said, I can't take him. So when they were arguing, he now said that, but he cannot just leave me like that. I should give him something. That how much do I have there? And I said, I had 10,000 naira. He, he turned and looked at me with anger. He hissed and said, drive off, drive off. Ha. I said, oh, this thing is serious. So. <laughs> So he asked me that what is my profession? I said, Pastor. I said, Ah, to Pastor, you go see today. Ha. So we kept driving, and I said, Okay, how much do you want? He said, How much can I give? And I said, I'll give you 50,000 naira. He looked and said, I should add something. He said, 60,000 naira. Now we are driven out. So he told the guy driving that drive to the nearest POS that we can see. So they took my ATM card for me, they drove to the nearest POS. And he took the ATM and told me to impute. He said, calm down. When you go out, don't act rash. Just follow and everything will be fine. I said, all right, no problem. I imputed my password and the, my PIN, sorry. And they took what they wanted. And they still got into the car and started driving off. The anger increased. The intensity was high. They were angry. They were battling. So he received the call that they've gotten someone else. So when they received the call that they've gotten someone else, and I said, okay, let them drive me back. So they drove me back into the town and took me back to Area 10. When they got to Area 10, they said that, all right, this is what they will do. They will get out. But when they get out, I should not open the door. From the back seat, I should move into the front seat. I should go. At this time, my hands were still shaking. Despite the wisdom of God that delivered me. <laughs> so when I got into the car, I held the steering. This was around 2, 8, 2 p.m. I mean, broad daylight. I held the steering, I drove off, I drove off, I drove to um, go to opposite DOA and I'm packed and I began to sing, sing the message of the Lord. It's not by any kind of wisdom, it's not by any kind of spiritual intelligence, it is just the sure message of God that I have entered into the hands of this evil man and he spared my life, he took me out, spared my life, spared my car, that I will return to my wife who was expecting me to come back home. Praise the Lord. <laughs>